guys, what's up? Welcome to my brand new video. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on Darkness Falls by Ellie Weatherly. This is my second book in the Broken Sky series by Ellie Weatherly. And my book review on the first book will be linked down below. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the second one. I absolutely love this book, so let's just give a little non-spoilery book review before we get into the spoilery part where we discuss things and we're like, oh, and everything like that. Basically, um, actually, I don't think I can even do that because it's a continuation of the first book and how am I supposed to say a brief description of this without spoiling the first book if you've not read the first book. Basically this is a continuation of the second book but I think I think I probably enjoyed this book more. I don't know because usually you know we all know with sequels in book series. We usually enjoy the first book in the book series way better than the second or third or the fourth book however many books are in the series. But I think I enjoyed these just as much if not maybe more than this book. I don't know but this book was amazing and I gave it 5 out of 5 and if you read this book or whatever, then let's just get into the spoiler stuff. So, guys, if you wanted to know more about the series and you just clicked on the video for some random reason, go and watch the book review on Broken Sky that down down below. I'll be linked down below the first book in the series because it's worth watching because trust me, this book is amazing and I recommend you go pick it up. So, Darkness Falls by Ellie Weatherly. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so I've got a bunch of notes here and I'm ready to get going. It's just a little bit hard to get back into because you know, time period from reading the first book and I'm like, okay, trying to remember everything. And as I got into it, so just a little bit of hard motivation. I started some tiny bit, but soon I got so pulled into this book, guys. You do not understand. Okay, as soon as Amity was getting sent to a correction camp, you know, after the trial, I straight away click something turned on in my brain, and I was like, I cannot put this book down for one second. Oh my goodness! As soon as that happened, that was when I was just right into this book and it, the rest was history basically. I read this intently, I couldn't put this down because basically I learned so much about, okay, basically okay guys, so basically it felt like, you know, how Jews and correct, um, oh, I'm forgetting concentration camps guys, get it clear, okay. So you know in real life, um, history, you know, Hitler and the Jews and concentration camps and what I was like for them, you know, we get told as a historical lesson, but you know, we can't emphasize to the point of, you know, we know what it's like to be inside your mind experience in this week we know what it's like because you know if you've not been for yourself you can never really relate to what it's like maybe you have some more experiences but to stuff like concentration camps none of us can ever truly relate to the horrors of when on your yes we can feel sorry but it almost seems unrealistic in a way because it's like oh yeah these groups of millions of people done this and that and that was ages ago and you know we get told in a blatant way but caring and getting to know a character a person and then getting to know what is going on inside their head and what's going on around them as we're getting sent away from their home to a correction camp now that is what i can sympathize way more because when she went to the correction camp guys you know the heads on the gates the things that were going on inside um you know the guns shooting randomly the fear that she experienced it the boots and everything um if her boots were going to run out like she couldn't wear them anymore you know she would be dead working 12 hours in mine clothes at the starvation everything that happened you know she goes through this as a character she feels the feelings firsthand and the, the graphicness of what's around her you know it's described and caring about this character and the feelings and emotions she goes through as she goes through this experience of the correction camp i can so much more sympathize and i can't ever relate to it i can never imagine what it's like to be in a situation like that or what the jews were unfortunately put in but I can sympathize more because you get to see into that person's brain and what we went through and you care about these individuals you don't know exactly the horrors you just get told about it in school or whatever you get to see firsthand graphic descriptions of what's going on around the avatar the main character and you care about this person and what she's feeling what she's going through it just makes it opens your eyes i think it's opened my eyes way more and the horrors you know and i feel and i cry and i sympathize more than i ever did with learning in school because you're learning it for that person character and i think you guys must know what i'm kind of babbling on about um yes i couldn't put it in because it was so interesting learning about this world of a correct connection camp when her friend got her period and everything and the all getting splashed with water and her friend taking her boots and everything and getting stamped with well i know jews you know we've had to get stamped with um but we're star sign whatever it's so interesting because i was so 
so keen to learn about this world because as soon as she was getting sent away I was like I want to learn more I want to learn more because this world that she got sent to was so interested in what was happening to her so I had to keep keep and keep reading every time it switched to Max's point of view his first person point of view you know seven kids the same as Max I did get a bit annoyed I was like oh my goodness no I want to keep reading for Amity the Amity's point of view is definitely my favourite you know I was like no I don't want to read from Max I want to keep reading from Amity's and I was so tempted to you know skip past the point of view but I'm that kind of person I can't skip through friends and books I have to read all it. but that soon went away because you know as soon as we get into Max's point of view you realise what's going on how relevant his chapters actually are to the story and how you know important they are and other little bits of information and Max, Max's chapters are interesting they are interesting but you just have to get into them it's just after reading all the because there's usually all the action that happens with Amity and oh my goodness what's going to happen next to oh no really Max chapter and I really just have to interrupt the story kind of thing but Max chapters are interesting and you get into them soon enough it's just that withdrawal from Amity but soon enough you go back to Amity and I'm pretty sure Amity gets multiple character um, chapters at a time while well, Max has like one at a time so you know it's all good and they are important to the story so I did enjoy Max chapters and I didn't realise that they were relevant as I got into them but I definitely did enjoy uh, you know Amity's more. Okay Ingo and Amity escaping I was oh my goodness I was just praying we made it. I was like, oh my goodness, guys, please don't you have to know. And when we, uh, the snow, the snowmobiles, snowmobiles, I'm um, like hiding in the trunk with the wheel and everything in that house with the rat and everything that happened with him. And the fact, when she first saw him for the first time and the burnt half his face and everything, oh my goodness, I feel so bad for Ingo and Amity for being in this camp. I feel so freaking bad for them and what we've been through and endured. And I was praying, please make it alive, please escape, please successfully escape. And you know, the helicopter is coming down to the door or whatever that in the house we were in and we were holding a knife to each other's necks and like I will kill you blah 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 and you know I really ship my friendship as I was thinking think I'm a bit out of us not more than friends I don't know but I think right now I really shipped our friendship Amity's and Ego's because we needed to rely on each other we needed each other for this book we needed each other desperately and we were we're both alike we're both quite alike which is what I think that's why I don't ship them together as more than friends because our friendship is really good and we can really rely on each other we have that kind of bond, that trust, because we're very alike in similar ways, I think. You know, we get each other kind of thing, we get each other and we become closer as friends as it goes by. I really, really ship with friendship and I'm like, come on, you go to Amity, yes, you guys can do it. I really just appreciate your friendship, definitely. A great friends, and nothing needs to be further than that. But if something did happen, if we were more than friends, I bet if offer can write me into it, they can talk me into it. I'd be like, okay, I ship more and more friends now. You go to Amity, you know, where I ship it kind of thing. Because, I mean, if I offered that, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But I'm thinking we are better off as great friends because not everybody needs to turn to relationship. I mean, get along really well. We have that ground of what we've been through together, you know nobody else will have that experience like that experience we've shared together that's something nobody else can kind of touch and when we finally escaped and we went into the house and you know the weeks were going by and we slept in the same bed which i thought was very reassuring that you know you have someone very through the nightmare someone else who the only other person on the planet who understands what you're going through right now kind of thing and when ingo went away when ingo was dragged away to his family um in germany when he was about to, he left i was like no ingo no please because i really love i love ingo I love Ingo's character so freaking much. I just wanted him um, to see to come story. I did not want Amity and him to get separated, especially after what we went through to come out. Especially, I was like, no, I do not want them to be separated. Please don't be separated. And then we got separated. Of course, that happened. And I was like, no, Ingo, come back. And I was like, please, no. And she's never going to see him again. And I was so upset. I think I might have cried a tear. But then he comes, you can tell he was kind of hesitant about going to it. I was like, what's going to happen? But then he comes back in the end. And in the end, in the last page, it's just him and Amity sitting together or whatever crap so I'm so happy he comes back to fight and everything that's going on and oh my goodness I'm so happy that we cut he comes back and we're reunited at the end thank goodness we really need each other I just do not want Ingo and Amity splitting um Collie saved oh yeah so yeah Collie saved Hal yeah Collie what Collie was doing I mean I don't even know <sighs> Collie, mate, what are you doing? Collie, it's so weird because Collie has a weird name, like Collie, Collis, Sandy. Like, seriously, he, like, what, what is going on? And I don't, I don't know what to think of Collie. I don't. Like, I think, okay, fine. 
I tried to write everything that happened because I didn't really write much notes on Kali. All I wrote was Kali saved Hal and I think I should probably wrote more notes on that. But you know, in the hotel when he went out to meet Gunnison and everything and the betrayal to Amity. Um, but then, oh yeah, at the shooting, at the freaking shooting, he saved Amity. Thank goodness he saved her. Oh my gosh. And then, at the end, it was something like he shot himself. And I thought he was committing suicide. I was like, why are you committing suicide? Because he was going off about committing suicide over one stupid reason. I don't even know why. It was something about not being with her or some crap. But he was like, okay, that's it. This is it. And then he shot himself. And I thought that was him dead, but it wasn't. He's actually still alive. But I think he shot himself for some plan. I can't remember what the plan was. But I was just like, at the time, what are you doing, Colin? Why are you? I was like, why did he just commit suicide? What is going on? I was like, Colin, what are you actually doing? But he didn't commit suicide. It was someone else. I can't remember. <laughs> some sort of other plan. Like, wait a minute. Um, Colin, I don't think Colin and Amity should get back together. Colin has just done too much and I'm not really sure them anymore. And, you know, Amity, I don't think she should forgive him. Kind of to that extent of going back out of him. I think that relationship is done. Like, yes, you can forgive him and, you know, move on one day, but not back with him, I don't think. But when Hal and Amity were reunited, I was, I think I was crying, but I was so happy that Hal is safe and alive and he was reunited with Amity because I was thinking we'd never ever see each other again. You know, Amity's never going to be able to see her brother again. And we're probably going to see him in the story again, but no, we got reunited and I'm so freaking happy. I'm so happy we did that. And how he's in this, he's in the fighting thing, like the secret, or what's it called, secret undercover thing with Mac and everything. The resistance? No, I don't know if it's called that. But I really do want Hal there. He's only like 14, 15, I don't know. We're kind of curious about what's going to happen next with all these characters fighting against K system. I can't believe Amity shot Gunnison. Amity, you go girl. Like, I can't. Madison, I think her name's Madison, she killed herself, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened, and I was like, oh my gosh, no, Amity is going to get the blame on this, I mean, I guess Madison did feel some extent of guilt, because that's what she ended up doing, and uh, she ended up taking her whole life, but it seems like Amity was going to get the guilt, or the, like, the um, blame for that, I didn't, I was, I was like, no, I don't want Amity in jail, or some crap, no, I was so worried about Amity, I was like, please, and then when the shadow cars have been started to get everyone away, and it's been with uh, three stars, the free moon thing, Gunnison's big event at the end when everyone started taking and she got taken away. I was so sure that she was done for. And I was like, no, I'm going oh, please, please, please. And thank goodness it was just Collis, Collie, Collie, whatever crap. I'm taking her away and saved her. Um, I can't believe she got Gunnison. Well, he is a real master behind, mastermind behind everything. And I think now it's going to be more dangerous with her and power. When Gunnison said, let fate be and he let out on stage. I was like, thank goodness because she can kill him now before the guards the um the guns take her away. Um Kay is the real mastermind manipulator behind this whole thing pulling